a beautiful and wonderful afternoon to all of you uh, who are watching us from all over the world. Today with you is Veronica Seban, the owner and founder of Elite Global Leadership Club and Elite Global Leadership Magazine, Global Talk Show and Business Power Academy. Today, I am very delighted and super excited to having my imminent guest, Lily Karasian, who is an impressive and very, very talented coach and personality. She has an amazing inner beauty, and I would do love to invite Lily to present uh, yourself and tell us more about you. So how did you start your journey as a coach? Hi, Veronica and everyone. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to be part of this conversation. And about me, so my name is Lily Karazian, as um, Veronica just introduced. So I'm a, um, I'm a personal and career um, coach. And right now I'm mostly focused on empowering more women. And why? It's because um, I noticed me as a woman growing up as a, as a young girl, I always lacked um, acceptance. And growing up, I felt like I have nothing to offer. And, um, and it just like, I'm sure a lot of you might go through the same route, uh, it, depending on, on different circumstances or like family upbringing. So you always felt like you're not good enough or you're not adequate. And that was me. And I was pretty shy. Um, I was a very shy girl growing up. And then, so throughout my young journey, honestly, I kept looking and looking for something to empower me. And I knew there was something something must be there but i didn't know what and how to get there so um mostly um the so the only thing that i was getting and hearing a lot was compliments on my looks so obviously that was the only thing that i was relying on and uh i did not have anything else to offer and uh if you would have asked me back then what is what are your qualities? I I would just look at you because there was nothing that I could think of. Although I had so many qualities, but it wasn't eminent to me because um, I always looked for acceptance and validation from others. But me being adventurous in um, the kind of like um, ambitious and never wanted to give up no matter how how hard my life was how no matter how uh, how much criticism I would gain every single day every moment of my life I knew that there should be something I mean there should be a way and I'm at me um, as a problem solver growing up because I'm a natural born empath so I could feel that there is something out there, a greater force that I want to be empowered and I want to be in control of my life. So I, um, and there was a lot of time that I was traumatized. I was going through a lot of toxic relationships, uh, family traumas, and many, many hardships that I'm sure many of you have gone through, um, maybe less or more but it actually made me stronger. So I got to the point that I encountered different and different people, different journeys, different coaches, different mentors. And I started get, um, surrounding myself with influential people, people that uh, uplift me to give me more positive vibes. And slowly but surely, I started educating myself 
because I wasn't I wasn't ready to give up. And uh, although I failed a lot in my life, I I wasn't giving up. So I kept searching and searching. Um, I studied a lot of modalities. I studied a lot of uh, books. I um, listened and trained with many mentors. And um, even, I mean, some of them were great and not, I mean, not all of them were uh, as good as I was expecting them to be. But um, I still learned a lot from every single one of them. And I got to the point that I was able to strategize my own plan to um, to uh, transform my life. And I was able to do that. So I got to the point that I was so happy and content that no matter what was going on around in my life, I was just high, like on life, just I mean, going with the flow. And honestly, I I don't want to say that life is just always perfect. It's not. It's ebbs and flow. So we're going up and down. But the secret to that is to be able to ride the waves of life and just go with the flow. And once you learn to go with the flow, everything transforms and everything just turned into a different um, meaning for you so that's how it began my journey I began my journey and I got to the point that I got so much full of love that I want to share that love and empower the whole world um, especially women because I noticed that women as women um it's women usually down the history have been marginalized and underestimated throughout the history to the point that um, they, uh, we as women think that we always have to put others first, uh, be it at work or, or in personal life, um, because we feel, um, we feel this pressure from society that this is our duty, but that's not it. And once we realize that self-care and self-love and putting yourself first is not selfish, and it's a part of, it's a, a fundamental necessity for your growth and advancement to be able to give more love and care for others, then that that's when our life will transform wow it's very very powerful and impactful and thank you lily for finding out the courage and sharing it with us um so now let's move to the next chapter seeing the fact that you have been going through a total transformation of your values personality and properly your life because from the moment that you uh, initiated to and decided to get more education in the coaching industry and in personal development i uh, think that you discovered uh, obviously your potential your capacities uh, I think that you initiated also to um, appreciate yourself, to see the, the the shining diamond within you, the the way you really are from inside down. So, what is your hugest potential that you could impact thousands of lives around the world? What kind of impact? No, uh, what is your hugest potential that you could make um, a huge impact around the world on women just changing their lives? Yeah, like the potential is I, uh, I personally not, I'm thinking us, not even just women, but every one of us are just one. We're just experiencing life in on different journeys in different bodies 
but and the only thing that unites us is love. So my my um, ultimate goal is to empower women, especially because I think women are great leaders. And in this new age, in this new era, women um, are going to be the new leaders in a way that um, they are, we are innately nurturing and empathic. So we are going to lead the world in a better place and men willingly will follow us not in a way that we are going to be superior no i uh, honestly i'm not a feminist in a way that um women are better or men are better no it's about the balancing of the masculine and uh, feminine energy so we're going to unite and collaborate hand in hand uh, in a way that women are going to lead in a more compassionate way and um, show, I mean, teach men that it's okay to be compassionate. It's okay to be in touch with your um, feelings. And it's okay to be in touch with your emotion and your feminine side because um even men have been neglecting themselves, their feelings because of societal norm of them not being able to express themselves. And that's because of that a lot of men are not happy with themselves because they can't be their true self. So my um, goal and my vision is to start empowering women because we are raising children. And we need to build and nourish and ingrain this compassion and love to our with our with the youth generation um, and train them that the main the main fundamental necessity of life is love. And once they start focusing on their self to give themselves compassion, love, and care. That's when um, they, when they make that conscious choice to love themselves, they, uh, it fills their cup to the point that they easily can give love because they have so much love to give without any expectation. And that's, that's the point that we are, um, aiming to reach as far as self-love because I mean there's I can't I can't uh, just point out no one I mean have have you ever seen anyone with that would say that I don't want I don't need love I don't need to be loved I don't need to <laughs> love anyone I I just don't care about being loved or love anyone I mean that's just our nature we are love we are our essence is love and once we give ourselves so much love we are so fulfilled that we can easily share love with the world but we've been neglecting ourselves forever and um forgetting that we are the one that needs to be cared for first in order to grow. We have been putting others first and caring and loving others to the point that we are drained. We are completely drained and constantly looking for someone else to love us. And everyone is in the same situation because everyone else is focusing on loving and caring others so their cup is empty, you know, and they they can't really give the, each other that kind of love and attention without expectation, that kind of unconditional love and care and happiness. And um, that's where um, we are our own coach initially. We have to focus on ourselves. We have to learn to prioritize ourselves. And we need to um, constantly think that putting ourselves first 
it's not selfish. Um, it's genuine. In order to be genuine to everyone around us, we need to be genuine to ourselves and we need to love ourselves. Wow, it's very powerful and very profound. It touched literally my heart. So I'm getting emotional listening to you. Uh, so um, being said this, I would love to uh, ask you, what is your mission? So how do you want to, to help the people and to serve them? Well, um, okay, so I have to put it this way. Not, I mean, there are so many women who are lost. They know there is, there is a potential. There must be something out there, but they don't know what it is. And they, they don't know how to get there. And that's when me or people like me come into the perspective. Um, I would love to help women. I, I mean, my I strategize a system that can um, help you step by step find that clarity of where you're standing, what do you want, and how to achieve it by um, by strategize a systematic plan for you to hold your hand and walk you through every step of the way, the progress, and support you, and tell you, and show you, and prove it to you that you are, that this is not you. This is what you, what you have been perceiving from yourself. It's not your, your true identity. It's not you. It has been ingrained into your mind by societies, by cultures, by people, by surroundings, by situations, um, and vice versa. Your the true you is within. And once you connect to your innate uh, power and your innate um, self, you you start shining. Once you realize you gain that knowingness that there is more out there, that this is not you, you gain all the answers. And I can I can just show you how to um, reach that part of you. I can guide you how to reach that part that part of you that gives that uh, gives you all that information because all the answers are within and um and when you get to that point i mean of course we're human and it's ebbs and flow life is ebbs and flow so there are sometimes that life goes down sometimes goes up but you kind of learn that even at the time of hardship and problem and stress you know what's going on. You understand the flow of life and you're okay with it. You accept it. You're okay. You don't look at it from a, um, from a um, kind of like negative um, perspective. You, you, change, you learn to change your perspective for the better and go with the flow. And to be on um, the mode of gratitude most of the time. And just know that you are God. You are God in physical body. And you have so much power that you can create anything and everything in your whole life. And you are this power. And you have this innate magical um, strength and potential within you that you can transform your life. And wow. um, it, it's very profound that we, most of us don't know that we have this power. We don't have, um, I mean, we think that we don't have any control over our lives. And that's why we're so helpless and vulnerable and overwhelmed all the time because 
we have been brainwashed to think that way, that we're not in control of our lives, but we are. We are powerful beings and it's up to us to live the life that it's our birthright and it's our destiny. So we can't blame anyone. It's only, you can blame yourself. We can only blame ourselves because we have this, this power and it's our um, choice and decision to seek help and to seek guidance and to search, to read, to educate ourselves, to go to that the route of solving ourselves, to finding that true love and potential. Wow, it sounds again very, very powerful. It's it sounds also a certain message of empowerment and encouragement. Um, so now let's move to the next question um, before we are closing. So this interview regarding your branding and your position on the market as a coach. What is your purpose? So what would you like to achieve through your purpose and how? Through my cause? Through your purpose. Purpose. My purpose? Yes. Um, so, like, I want to um, reach, be able to reach every woman, 35 plus, to tell them that how powerful they are. And to all the women around the world who are overwhelmed and doubtful, my advice would be, to practice self-compassion and patience and prioritize yourself. Prioritize yourself. You, you deserve all the best in the whole entire world. And it's time for you to shine. And no matter what, there is always way. It's just a matter of you wanting to to uh, shine and wanting to grow and improve and everything starts within so what i would advise what i would suggest to women is um start by putting themselves first and don't feel bad about it you don't have to like go get a fancy like um go to a fancy Ball, get a bubble bath and just like things like that yeah those are amazing I mean if you can why not go ahead um indulge yourself but if not I mean just sometimes you just need some time to just do nothing and just um close your eyes and I mean just focus on your breathing even like sometimes five minutes is good enough so um, just know that in order to find yourself and your power, you have to focus on you and no one else is going to help you but you. No one is going to come to you and say, hey, stop it. Why you work so much? Why you care so much about others and you're, you've been neglecting yourself forever? I mean, and just like force you to do something for yourself. No one is going to do that for you. It's only you. So if you're waiting for that perfect timing, it will never come. And uh, our time is running out. We need to, every, every second counts and we need to make a use of it. I learned this the hard way. So just take my advice because what I'm going through right now, it's, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. But I have changed my perspective in life in order to grow. And it's working. It's like I have a magic wand. And it's just fabulous. Just try it. Try, try, try going in and focusing within to find your answers 
But just know that uh, mentors, guides, and many people are um, available to help you like myself. So I'm always available. And um, I hope um, my messages are resonating with you, woman. But um, I definitely will be available to help anyone who's interested by um, walking them through my step by step by step um, strategy of how I help them to move from the the place of vulnerability and weakness to the place of power and strength and confidence. Oh, thank you so much. I want to mention that once you are on the Elite Global Leadership Club platform, uh, I am doing everything possible to introduce you to all my global networking so that your life is going to change to the better. I am on a mission to empower leaders, business owners, coaches, mentors, uh, marketing service providers, and all type of business owners that are aiming to grow and to go globally. So I am beyond, beyond grateful to having you here uh, on the stage with me and to contribute to your growth massively. We can grow only together. Remember that. It doesn't exist competition. Your personality, your energy, your mindset makes you unique. So you are unique in your way to be, the way you are born. So remember that. And don't be afraid of competition. Because the competition, it's only the illusion of your imagination. When you open up, to collaboration ships, when you open up to help other people and to change their life to the better, your life will change as well. Blessings to all of you. And before we are closing, I would love, dear Lily, to ask you kindly to share your platform with uh, our lovely audience. Do you have a website link maybe that we can share with them? so that our audience can find you on your platform and to book a coaching session uh, with you. Yes, absolutely. I uh, Anyone who likes to go through my plan um, can go to www.lilykarazian.com, which is L-I-L-Y-K-H-A-R, a Z I A N is Nancy dot com. And then once you go there, um, you on the first page, you get a chance to uh, go through the discovery call to schedule a free um, discovery call with me. And we'll go from there. I want to mention as well that uh, within only two days, so we will be on the stage of Feminine Leadership Summit. So I am going to uh, host the Feminine Leadership Summit and we will be there together with Lily Lee and many another amazing um, ladies, business owners and leaders from all over the world. So stay tuned and join us so blessings to all of you and see you in the next session thank you thank so much you. for having you lily with me thank you so much for having me it was my absolute pleasure to me too likewise